Okay, so I'm a fat American YouTuber by the name of QStar, and I saw this video, uh, proof that Americans will buy anything, and I saw some dumb-looking American woman in the thumbnail, and I was like, what could these products be? And then the first one was something that was, like, absolutely fire and incredible, so I decided that I would respond to this and tell you my opinion on these possibly innovative products. Okay, so the first product is this uh, flask, Freedom Flask, it's called, it's called the Freedom Flask. Definitely a very American product, he kind of shows how you do it, you tie it around your waist, you pull it over your shirt, you put it in your pants, and I think that this is actually a genius product, it's very good, you gotta watch where you are because you don't want to get like accused of some indecent exposure with your strange white plastic genitals, but like, it's a cool product. I think it genuinely works well. Next is the Butter Express. And this is like something where I don't understand why anybody would complain whatsoever. I like butter. I'm a fat American. But it's just like butter is so inconvenient. It's like terrible. It's always the wrong time. It's either too hard or it's too soft or it's a problem. With this product, you just one step and you're done. You put the butter in, you slop a slop. It's good. This is an incredible product. I can't believe it's being written off by this random YouTube compilation video. Okay, so, so this one's a sculpting bra. I really am not an expert in this. I have breasts, but I don't use a bra with them because it's just not never been my lifestyle. But like, it, so I don't. I can't really comment on this one. I'm gonna move to the next one because I can't give an accurate assessment as a reviewer. Okay, the next one is Ramen Joy Recipes, and I actually want to listen to this one because I need the information. I need to be sold this product. Made dishes and chocolatey desserts, all made with ramen noodles. Really? Ramen noodles? Check these out. Ramen shrimp, ramen tacos, even ramen sliders. Watch this. Brown some beef or any other meat with a ramen seasoning pack. Dump in a package of ramen, a good sized squirt of ketchup, and a can of cola. Yes, cola. For a fantastic barbecue beef pasta better than what they serve at the rib joint at a fraction of the cost. Want more? Form cooked ramen and egg into a fast pizza crust. Then add your favorite toppings for a mouth-watering pizza in minutes. It's right here on page 84. And here's my favorite. Just dump some ramen on top of some leftover chicken and veggies. Add a can of soup, stir and bake. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to actually pause this because I get the idea of the ramen joy now. I think I fully understand it. But the thing that I'm most interested in is the smoothness with which she pours these ramens. Oh, it makes me so excited. Okay, so basically the Ramen Joy recipe guide majorger is not... This is not my thing. This makes me just... Why would you want everything to be coated with ramen? Like, I could understand if it was some sort of, like, healthy substitute. Like... And I'm a guy in his 20s. I eat ramen for like two out of three meals a day. Just by itself, maybe spiced up a little bit. Not with cola. Nobody wants the cola in there. But like, I don't understand where like the substitute that would be the solution to your problems would just be ramen all the time. Um, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's a cost effective thing and you just want more options. I don't, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to, oh, the smoothness. Oh, I'm glad we got to see that again. Okay, okay, I don't even think this one is interesting enough to watch the video segment. This is just a giant speaker. It's like ridiculously loud and powerful for almost no reason whatsoever. It's just a silly product. I think we can all agree. Okay, so the egg cracker is very self-explanatory. It cracks eggs. I don't have a problem cracking eggs, so I don't need this product. But if you do, I, th I think it could actually be something for you. Okay, so this one is uh, for a Brush Buddies, like, toothbrush that plays One Direction when you brush your teeth. I remember these being absolutely massive when I was in, like, sixth grade. I guess they're still coming out with them. I don't see the problem with the product. If it can get kids to brush the teeth, this is, we're just zooming in on a woman's breasts right now. But I guess we're actually zooming in on the Cami Secret, which is the next product. I think that this is dope. I mean, if you hate cleavage, it's awesome. Um, but, like, also, if you just want a different look, I don't think there's anything wrong with the Cami Secret. Like... I, it, it, it seems like a cheap and, like, less bulky, uh, like, replacement for wearing something under your shirt. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't see what, oh, proof that Americans will buy anything, these stupid Americans. Yeah, at least me school don't get shot up. Like, there's nothing wrong with Cami Secret. It's an innovative product. 
All right, this one we need to listen to the audio of. The fridge locker, the easy to use personal portable food security system. Simply put your food or drinks into the fridge locker, set the lock to your secret combination, and now your food is secure wherever you take it. Want to keep snacks under wraps so the kids don't grab too many? Now you can help monitor what your kids eat with the fridge locker. Use your fridge locker in the fridge, freezer, or pantry. And for easy access, the door... Did my boy just say, use your fridge locker in the fridge? That was the funniest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. I literally, my mic was turned off, but I just burst out. I had a burst of oxygen energy, carbon dioxide coming out of my face, dude. That was awesome. Let's continue listening to what he has to say becomes a shelf unlike other containers the fridge lock is well ventilated so it won't trap odors if you live with anyone who has food allergies the fridge locker can store eggs shellfish wheat products or anything you want to keep safe i know what you're thinking what prevents someone from taking the whole fridge locker well even if you take it you still can't get into it it's so strong it'll hold my body weight Still not convinced? We put it to the ultimate strength test. This is a real live 800 pound grizzly bear and even he's having a hard time getting into the fridge locker. I just hope you don't have a bear in your house. Okay, so I think this might be the first time where I'm just like, okay, what's going on with this product? Who is actually buying it? Like most of the time I'm of the mind that if a uh, product fills even the most hyper-specific niche need, there's a place for it in the market. But this is just like, there seems to be, there has to be some better way to do this. And then they bring in a bear to like break into it. Like, did they even put in good, awesome bear stuff that bears would want? This doesn't look super solid to me. But anyway, yeah, let's just move on from this one. I'm not a fan of fridge freezer, uh, uh, fridge lock, locker. It's a terrible name, terrible product. Let's move on. The next product is the Floby hair cutting system, which is like a vacuum that you use to cut your hair. I do not understand in what way this is superior to just cutting your hair normally. It seems very difficult to regulate and like you might end up just having to go bald after using it. Like, I don't know, maybe I need to be sold by getting more information or getting a guide on how to properly use a Floby, but this seems like a meme product to me. Next up, we got the Facial Flex, which is supposed to give you like a more defined jawline. Do this in the privacy of your own home if you're going to use this product, because it looks extremely silly. Um, I've heard that this is actually really bad for, like, your jaw from a doctor on TikTok, so take that for what you will, but, like, it, that seems like kind of a dumb product, just capitalizing on people's insecurities. So, uh, yeah. Next, we've got a no-spill ice cube maker, which, I mean, you shouldn't be having that hard of a time. I feel like a lot of these products are, like, for people who have some sort of, like, physical difficulty. Like... That actually looks kind of convenient. I don't know. I always get, like, sold on these products every time I just look into them a little bit more deeply. This seems slightly less convenient than a standard ice cube maker, unless you have, like, some hand problem, some physical issue. Okay, the next one is a can opener. Very similar. It's just, like, if you're old or if you have a physical thing, this might be a product that is necessary for you to have. Otherwise, just chill out. Don't You don't need it. You do not need it. If I were a cat, I would be loving this, because cats love that sound. Crinkling sound makes cats just crazy. They just love it. That's why this is a cat toy. That's a cat on the front, and when the cat sees this, he's going to be drawn to it magically. He's going to crawl in the bag, and they'll just roll around and sort of wrestle with the bag. <laughs> and just really experience the... A singular cat thrill. It's called the Cat Sack Cat Toy. <laughs> $36.50. Okay, so I just want to throw out there, that clip was originally longer. I actually cut it down a little bit because it's so awkward. And it's just like, I actually think that this is a great cat toy. I think if I were a cat, I would love this. But just like... 
This dude's just doing this QVC, like, trying to sell you things on TV program, and he's just struggling. There's nobody responding to anything he's saying. He's just talking to himself about how great of a cat toy this cat bag is. Oh, I love it. It's terrific. Next, we've got the Rolly Eggmaster, which I think immediately just wins favorite name for me. Other than the fucking fridge locker. Put it in your fridge. You can put, you can use fridge locker in the fridge. Okay, anyway, let's, let's listen to what the Rolly Eggmaster pitch is. The fast, easy, pan-free way to make perfect eggs every time. Just crack, pour, and Rolly Eggmaster pops up delicious eggs in minutes. It cooks your eggs just like a real pan, without all the butter, fat, and mess. Look at that! And what makes Rolly eggs really great is their new easy-to-eat shape. Make a delicious bacon and egg Rolly for breakfast, or a vegetable egg white Rolly for a healthy lunch. If you can make toast, you can make a mouth-watering Rolly treat. Just crack, pour, and watch them pop up in no time. The secret is vertical cooking technology that combines a cylindrical non-stick cooking surface surrounded by a revolutionary heating element. So your eggs pop up hot, fluffy, and perfectly cooked. And because of their round shape, you can take them for a quick meal on the run or serve up bite-sized party fun or cut them to add fantastic flavor to salads and sandwiches. And eggs are just the beginning. Make a tasty rolly burrito, a perfect pizza rolly, or a cinnamon rolly for a delectable dessert. Okay, so the rolly egg master, like at first I was, this is stupid. I hate it. It's dumb. Those eggs look so much worse than the eggs that I make in my pan. I don't care about the cleanup. I can just clean up the pan after I use it. But I'll tell you, once they got into bite-sized party fun, I was starting to get a little bit more a little bit more sold on it when they started going through that it's more than just eggs it's just called the rolly egg master because that's the greatest name ever come up by a marketing team in the history of history but it's very there's no limits to what this thing can do okay this next one really does make me feel like i'm living in a dystopian society this is the perfect poly and it's a parakeet it's like a little robot parakeet thing that like chirps when you come in the room and moves its neck and uh, is this exciting to anybody? Like, maybe in the 1820s, but like, uh, no, why? So my conclusion on these products is some of them are incredible. Like the fridge locker, you put it in your fridge, you lock stuff up. It's just, it's like, who doesn't have one of those in their fridge currently right now? I don't fucking know. But, uh, like, the market will decide on these products. Obviously, like, I looked up the Perfect Poly. You can't find them anywhere. Maybe that's because the demand is so high that they've just sold out and they can't produce them as fast as people want to buy them. But I would wager a guess that maybe it's just because... They don't make them anymore because no one was buying them. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me know if you like videos like this. I'll see you super soon. Skate on the best of your abilities. Drink a sufficient amount of water. And uh, yeah, peace out, Cub Scouts.